Well, welcome back on Into 27 News. No stranger to the show here with me today, Kansas Highway Patrol's Captain Candace Brashears. How was your holiday? I, well, I should say how were, you know, I know that you were a little feeling a little under the weather, but at least got some family time, right? It was great. Okay. It was great to spend the holiday with family. Yes, very. It's always good to have time with family, with the kids. Uh, but I know a lot of people were kind of concerned over the weekend. We had that winter weather coming in. You know, how are you guys uh, at the Kansas Highway Patrol kind of getting people geared up for tackling that kind of winter weather travel this holiday season? And, and what would you say, um, you know, how would you say this kind of preliminary, uh, how it went uh, this time around? Yeah, so obviously this is the first winter weather storm for Kansas mm -hmm. um, this this year, this season, and uh, we had quite a few crashes across the state. So preliminary numbers are showing that we had um, between between Thanksgiving and then yesterday evening, we had about 430 crashes across the state. So that is that's quite a few, mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that people are prepared for next time, so that hopefully we won't have as many crashes. Um, and when that winter weather comes in, it's always important for people to remember that, you know, the speed limit out there on the highway is is not the speed limit when that inclement weather comes in. One hundred percent. You cannot say, you know, I'm going to lower my speed by 10 miles an hour. I'm going to lower my speed by 20 miles an hour because everybody's driving skills are different. So the amount of the amount of speed that you decrease is going to be based on your driving skills. Mm -hmm. So also not just with speed, but we want to remind people to you know, decrease that speed, increase your following distance. Make sure you're always turning on your headlights. That seems to be something that people always forget. They think that they have daytime running lights mm -hmm. and that that will turn on their taillights. But in, in reality, if you have daytime running lights and your vehicle is not picking up that inclement weather, then you have no taillights and people can't see you. So it's much easier to just go ahead and turn your headlights on. That way you can see and everyone can see you as well. So also make sure we're not using cruise control in inclement weather. Um, you want to be able to make sure that you can control your own vehicle. And you guys are doing, I, I know that of course you guys always are trying to do safety campaigns around this time of the year. And you also had the, the seatbelt campaign that you guys were working on having some increased, um, you know, law enforcement out on the roadways, making sure people were being safe. Are we going to see things like that uh, kind of heading into Christmas as well? We will. We had the, the Thanksgiving Safe Arrival mm -hmm. seatbelt enforcement. Also, you know, looking for impaired drivers and those that are driving distracted out there on the roadways. Want to make sure you always put that phone down. Um, so that is just ending and going into Christmas, we'll have um, some extra enforcement out there. Christmas is Christmas and New Year's is a DUI enforcement. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that people are being safe out there on the roadway. Um, when you get it behind the wheel impaired, then you not only put your life at risk, you put everyone else's lives at risk and it's just not worth it. Uh, there are so many other ways that you can get home safely, whether it's, you know, being the designated driver or calling a rideshare service. Those those ways uh, ensure that everyone can make it home safely for the holidays. And you mentioned the holidays here too. I know that you guys have the Michael Newton toy drive that's going to be going on as well. Do you mind just speaking to what this is and, and how people can participate? Sure. The Michael Newton toy drive is in its 21st year. This is something that the Kansas Highway Patrol partners with uh, the Missouri State Highway Patrol. Um, we will take donations of new and wrapped toys until December 11th. Uh, you can find information about that um, on our Facebook page. Um, you can also find a QR code there where you can, you can, you know, scan that QR code and donate a toy. It will ship it directly to Missouri Highway Patrol's Troop A or you can donate uh, those new toys here in Topeka at our general headquarters downtown or Troop B. Um, also, we've got a partner here in the Topeka area, MHC Kenworth is also a great partner of the Michael Newton toy drive. So this toy drive is in remembrance of a Missouri State Highway Patrol trooper that lost his life in the line of duty. Yeah, well, there's so. a huge need uh, out there right now for toys. Of course, this is speci specifically around this time of the year uh, because of the holidays. So just wonderful that you guys are participating in that. And lastly here, you know, you guys have some recruitment efforts that are in place right now and also some graduation uh, stuff going on too. Do you mind just quickly speaking to that? Sure, we are always looking for new people to join the Highway Patrol to help us keep our roadways safe. You hear those numbers that we're having out there on the roadways and, and we wanna make sure that we have you know the troopers out there to keep everyone safe across the state. 
Um, so we are graduating on December 19th, 20 new troopers. Oh, great. Um, that will be out there on the roadways just before the Christmas holiday. Um, they'll be in field training before they are out there. That is class 66 in our, in our condensed academy class. 67 will graduate together, which is pretty exciting, yeah. and there's 20 of them. Um, but we are hiring for the next condensed academy class and for a traditional academy class. So if you are interested or people are interested in um, helping us keep Kansas roadways safe, we're looking for those people that are, you know, looking for a purpose and hardworking, determined, and have a lot of integrity. So we are, we are actively looking for people to join our team. And not just on the law enforcement side, um, we have many civilian positions, right. support positions uh, within the Highway Patrol, and you can always find those open positions at khpjobs.org. They are, you guys are one of the most essential workers out there. I just want to thank you all and all the officers for keeping us safe um, this Thanksgiving holiday and over the weekend with that winter weather, you guys did a wonderful job. So we appreciate you guys. Thanks, Katie. Mm -hmm. All right. Back